Yeah. Hello, I'm Charles Stead. Um, I'm an incumbent Rotorua District Councillor and proud to be there. Um, I, um, I'm a Rotorua real estate agent and I have a family. Born and bred here, went to school here, Rotorua Boys High and etc etc. So why are you standing again? Well because we've started a whole lot of projects mm -hmm. and um, uh, I want another three years to see some of those through. Mm -hmm. For example, we just recently went to Ngāti Whakaui with a proposal to create wet and wild adjacent to the aquatic centre. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hasn't been released publicly yet, so you're getting it first. <laughs> and um, we're going to seek private-public partnership to develop that mm -hmm. as a private as an a private enterprise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, there are many things like the Tenai Road, uh, Nongata Road, uh, mm -hmm. Four laning mm -hmm. to make sure the people from Nongata that traffic congestion is mm -hmm. fixed. I mean, we've got cemeteries, we've got um, sporting facilities being upgraded, BMX track out at Waipa. Oh, there's, there's so much to do. But the big thing for me is financial prudence. Mm -hmm. Now, some of these people have been going around saying, oh, we want debt reduction. Mm -hmm. So you get debt reduction by increasing rates, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, unless you compromise your capital works project mm -hmm. or you sack a whole lot of staff. So you've got to be, you've got to get a balance. Mm -hmm. And the experience that I've had, that's what I'm offering the people of Rotorua. So, so you feel you've got, we've got quite a good balance going on there at the moment around the financial side of things? Absolutely. When Stevie took over, the place was in a shambles. Mm -hmm. um, we weren't involved in many of the things at all. Mm -hmm. um, I was chairman of finance. I was shut out of meetings. Um, they had meetings with the airport company. I didn't even know they were happening. There was all sorts of things mm -hmm. going on. So one of the things I liked was Steve, and I know, I know people don't, some people don't like her, but reality is she's upfront, she's honest, and she's transparent, and I love working with her. Over the past three years, what are some of your biggest achievements? Well, I think one of the biggest achievements of this council is the Te Arawa Partnership. I, amongst uh, many of my experienced coll colleagues, was sick and tired of fighting iwi at uh, the Environment Court, costing ratepayers millions and millions of dollars. The two examples are the Tanifa Springs, where they wanted to take up more water, Iwi said no because it wasn't cleansing the lake and it would have impact the level of, of the Oaho stream. That cost us 1.3 million to fight them and the other one was the Rotomar Rota Ehu sewage treatment plant which cost us millions and millions and the Environment Court absolutely admonished us in terms of um, not consulting with the right people. So I'd rather have Iwi inside the tent. The four people that are, are involved are fantastic. They're very intelligent, they come well informed and actually contributing to council more than some of the sitting members are. And just finally Charles, um, tell our, our readers something a little bit about you that they mightn't know about. Well they might not know that I'm an absolute sports nut, um, I'm a grandfather and my daughter's having another one shortly, uh, but one of the other things is that I used to do gun dog trialling when I was a young fellow and I think I won the North Island Championship um, one of the classes at the North Island Championship. So I'm an animal lover, family lover, the whole lot.